Hi guys. Hello. Welcome to my channel and I'm here today with the beautiful Nana. Oh, it's so nice to have you here. Same. It's really yeah, nice so to be here. Like, we nice. met and we just clicked like one time. And then we realize that we have a lot of things oh, in common. You have no idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't be shy. So basically, um, she's very intelligent. She's very smart. And I wanted to steal a little bit of that big brain of hers on this video. And you enjoy hearing her talk. She, she speaks well. She has a nice voice. Okay. <laughs> let's not bring no her brains out. But Seriously. yeah. Do you want to say anything? Say uh, hi. Hi, guys. Make sure you watch and subscribe or I'll come for you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, um, today's video, we're not going to take very long, but um, we've been having very meaningful conversations. And at the end of the day, I, we, 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 we've had this thought that it's something that has been ongoing or is going to in, in the world in now many countries in yes. many countries everybody wants to run away from where they are from yes everybody hates where they are from That's everybody is issue. unhappy with where they are from exactly so now do you so coming to lebanon and seeing how it is obviously i saw some africans here and i see that a lot of people would prefer to come here for greener pastures. Yes. But then I see a lot of Lebanese are in so many other countries hustling. So, so what basically would you what's happening, mm -hmm. um, and just to give a bit of context for the viewers, so basically I did live in Nigeria. So I saw Nigeria and then I also saw Lebanon. And mm -hmm. the issues there and here, they're very, very similar. You have the issue of political corruption, lack of jobs, and even when they do have like when somebody finds a job, they mm -hmm. pay really low wages. And, but here in Lebanon, it's a bit more of political stress. Mm -hmm. Like you have a lot of outside countries, like when they say that Lebanon is free, and mm -hmm. a lot of people are going to argue with me on that. Mm -hmm. But when people say Lebanon is a free country, it's not really a free country. You have four or five countries that are pressing on us. Wow. So all of this pressure, finish, you just want to get out of it. Yes. But, and no, but let me tell you something. When Lebanese people leave Lebanon, some of them really cry. They don't want to leave because yes. their families are here. Let's say, for example, today I can't eat. Mm -hmm. I'll just go to my aunt's house. I'll go to my friend's house. They'll feed me. Mm -hmm. You know, or if I'm, let's say, God forbid, I'm in an accident or something bad happens, you'll yeah. see the community will come, come and help you. you. Yes. But when they go outside, they don't have that community, yeah. but they have to go outside so that they can at least send something, save up for their future, send something for their families. So it's not an easy decision to make, but you'll find it being done everywhere. And same like with Nigeria. I know that there's inflation and economic yes, stress there. Yes. A lot of people are leaving. Some of my friends are in Nigeria. They're planning on leaving also. Yeah. So and it's an issue. It's a big issue. Yeah, it is. And the thing that I notice is that but the thing I noticed is that um, I think um, the Lebanese and Nigerians have a lot in common. A lot, a lot. Like, um, like I feel like they are like Lebanese people are very clever. And so are Nigerians. And so are Nigerians. And then Lebanese people are very proud to be from Lebanon. Like, if they have their way, yes. they won't want to leave Lebanon at all. They will want to stay and live here and work yes, here if yes. they had the chance. So it's like. Traveling out is based on the need to hustle. But exactly. I think what differentiates that from most people from Africa? Now, the reason why I say Africa is because I met people from different parts of Africa that just don't some, like their country. They don't just like it. Not because there's no money, there are no jobs, but they feel like, oh, if I get to travel to somewhere mm, nice, okay. somewhere more developed, I'm yes. going to be able to show off to my friends and my community that, oh, I'm ah, it's the It's the prestige. Thank it's you. the ignorance. Exactly. So people think that if you leave Niger if you leave Africa, you're gonna become smarter or you're gonna become more aware of life. People don't actually know that right now at the moment, India and China mm -hmm. they are put throwing money in Africa. They're yes. planning on throwing in money like it's it's crazy. Yes. The deals that I, okay, let's talk for like a bit of politics. The deals that China is doing right now, mm -hmm. it's benefit it's benefiting so many countries. Mm -hmm. I know there are a lot of issues in South Africa, for example, yes. but China now is throwing money in South yes, Africa. A lot. A lot of people are gonna have jobs, and Africa is a beautiful, beautiful country with uh, sorry continent with 
resources and smart people yes and what really will look like what really hurts is that it's the smart talented people that leave like for example in lebanon we went through a period where uh where so many doctors and those are like in specialized areas yeah they left the country and the people here that were suffering from those illnesses they were they couldn't treat themselves yeah. so when people leave it doesn't it's not just for the fact that oh i'm just gonna leave no it hurts the rest of the community yes. so people need to think before they they leave but also you can't always blame people that do that when there's the pressure there's the corruption basically they're saying i don't want to feed you but i want you to stay up exactly. i need to eat yes. i need to live exactly but you see what you see what you're saying now from everything you've said it shows that most of the people that leave lebanon is to hustle and i mm. see the hard work that they put out there like some of them are rich go to nigeria you have a lot of rich Lebanese there, yeah. like go to um Zambia. They have the one, some of the best restaurants. Like when I was in Zambia, I was eating only Lebanese food, <laughs> and I tried a little bit of Russian food, but it was mostly Lebanese. Lebanese food. food. But then what I'm saying is that you see them literally like put in the work, mm. and I don't know if they post photos for for cloud. Like no, they post. What do you do? Okay. <laughs> yes. okay, but then like you see them put in the work, and I'm not saying that. Maybe because I know a lot of Africans that travel for the purpose of they just want to travel to create an impression. Maybe that's why I'm I'm thinking like, okay, people in Africa don't always do it for the money. Mm, they also do I it because you. they want to be like, I'm abroad. Because I see the Lebanese that come home. They are so happy to be home. Yeah. They blend. They don't carry their shoulders high like, oh, so now I mean, um, I'm, I'm, back I'm better home. than I'm you. better than good. Mm. But you have that perception in Africa where somebody who has been living abroad for a while comes back and they are like, "Oh, I'm, I'm coming from abroad. That's I'm my... better than you. I have more money." That's actually my first time hearing that. Because, like, for example, I know my friends know they're leaving to better, but that's my first time. That's an interesting uh, Wait, fact. Honestly, I didn't know that. Actually, when I when I went to um one time when I was in Abuja, right? Yeah. There's this guy, he came up to me and he was like, um, he and his friend, and the friend was like, my friend likes you. And I'm like, why can't your friend say it for himself? Um... Then he said, well, my friend, he just came back from America. And, you know, he has <laughs> Let money. him stay there. Yes, he brought America money. And the friend took him out and he's like, yeah, I don't have time for this. You know, in America. And he was just talking, I was like, look at you. Like, I don't even understand. Like he, he, he's even like trying to, he's giving that persona like, yeah. oh, he was to the extent that when I refused to hang out with him, he left, uh, he, he, he sent a message saying something like, oh, um, well, I don't have time. Um, that's a problem with girls in Nigeria and all that. I'm like, how do you know I'm even from Nigeria? How do you even know that I live here? You don't know anything, but because he feels like he's coming from yeah. America, everybody should so basically they use the country to back up their lack of personality and lack of everything which is you you should never leave a country for that you should never leave a country for that in fact if you are really smart or you have a special talent or something mm -hmm. it's so easy right now to start an online business i know people that are making money just from tiktok yes. just from tiktok mm -hmm. there and it's not that they're influencers no they started a small business mm -hmm. like if it's maybe you know all what's trending now those scoops for example like they yeah. you buy a scoop of something like lip gloss and something yeah. and then you don't know what to expect yeah. okay this needs little inventory if you start it in your country mm -hmm. and you start making money from it mm -hmm. you can use it to open something that's maybe in your field you can start yeah. from something small and open something that's in your field exactly so what do you think would make um people more lebanese stay, stay? Back, stay in lebanon if like, what would you think would be the thing that would really they make them come have back to home this, and so say? They have to bring themselves out of all political parties. I don't care if anybody, like maybe uh, somebody on your YouTube on your YouTube page right now might be watching and they might disagree with me, but mm. you need to get, the main thing is to get your, get out of the political parties and start being you. No, because common sense is not lacking not here not in africa yeah so in, even in nigeria many people they fight over the political parties yes, yes it's a big but issue. in lebanon it's much worse because you have 
brother is killing brothers because he's here and he's here. Mm. It's wrong. So when you get yourself out of the political party, they'll stop controlling you. You'll be able to think for yourself and you'll be able to think of what's right, what's wrong. How, In fact, you will literally better your life. So you feel like if the whole political um, game is out of the picture, everybody yeah. will want to come back yeah. and remain here. And what is your take on the Syrians being a lot here in Look, Lebanon? to be honest, I'm not going to say anything about it because personally, I'm not affected by it. I know Lebanese people that are affected by it, but also I don't blame the Syrians. Like, I'm really sorry. They had a war in their country and they were seeking refuge. Our country opened the... Our country allowed them to enter. Okay, fine. Obviously, I came to your country. I am going to work. Yes. And since you're... And let me, let me tell... Let me tell you something. The thing is that it's not even the Syrians' fault, it's the Lebanese people. And yeah. a lot of Lebanese people, they're really going to argue with you. They're going to yeah. hate me, I know that. <laughs> but let me tell you why. Mm -hmm. Let's say, for example, right now I'm a business owner. Mm -hmm. And you come, and let's say you want $15 per hour. Mm -hmm. But the Syrian person comes, he doesn't even want 15 Some of them want as low as 5 or yeah. as 10 yeah. As a business owner, who will I... Who will I? the cheaper label. Exactly. So when you have Lebanese people mm -hmm. looking for cheap labor, mm -hmm. how can you blame Syrians for working? They'll be like, oh, they took our, uh, they stole our uh, jobs, jobs and they stole our jobs. But... And I get that it's not easy to have cheap labor, but mm -hmm. like if you start off small and then eventually increase. Yeah. And plus the government did not control the issue of the refugees. Yeah. Like for example, in Germany, they accepted refugees, yes. but there were laws, it was organized. They're yeah. like, you can't do this, you can't do this, but you can do this, for yes. example. Lebanese government did not do that also. You didn't set any boundaries. And also between the Lebanese people, we really, really need to stop lying to each other. We need to stop stealing for it from each other because this is another issue also. You, oh. It's another reason why why a lot of Lebanese people leave the country because between each other we're not good it's like yeah. I wish bad stuff on you why hmm. so we need to get out of the mentality and we need to get out of the mentality that we're better than everyone because a lot of people have that and it leads to racism it leads to discrimination yeah. we need to get out of that mentality because that's the poor ignorant sort of mentality yeah. when we get out of it trust me will be able to move yeah. forward. I think, so at the end of the day, judging from everything we've discussed, mm. the, the, one of the things that I just picked from all this is that everything happening in the world is similar. It's similar. It's similar. Anywhere you go to, even if you run, wherever you run to, they all have problems. And you might say, it's better than where I'm coming from. Even Europe is but having problems Yes, now. even Europe is having problems. So wherever you go to, you might say, it's better than where you're coming from. But trust me, give it a few a few mm. weeks. No, not even, give it a few weeks. Give, give it, it a, a few, few months. months. And then you're going to see that it's the same problem, if not worse than where you're coming from. So at the end of the day, we all have the same problem mm -hmm. in the world. So why are we running? Where are we running to? <laughs> yes. Why are we running? Why are we running left, right, center, east and west? Everybody, Europeans are trying to run to... Um, Europeans who are running. They're running away from Europe. I mean, do you know what? I mean, They're running into yes, Africa and Asia. Just yes. The people running out of Middle East and running out of Africa, people yes. are running to you guys because yes. they know how much money is being in. Yes. So before you leave, really look... And food. Yes. Because even, even I would lie to you, and then there are a lot of Africans running to Canada. And guess what? It's too expensive. I've been meeting a lot of Canadians recently. It's like, I'm like, what's going on? I've been meeting a lot of Canadians that have left Canada, mm -hmm. do not want to live in Canada. They would visit, but they don't want to live, to there. live there. And when you ask them, what is the problem? They'll tell you that there are a lot of things that are not okay. Taxes are high. Even the free medication isn't exactly free. In Canada, taxes are high. They also have inflation. Yes. And they have a drug problem that is not... Like, it's it's really, really high. I know two people from Canada. They told me. Yeah. That, the issue of the drug problem alone... Alone is a problem. It's not easy. Wow. And you want to run to America, racism... Everywhere there is racism. Yeah. Well, everywhere. everywhere there's racism. Exactly. I mean, like it's more, it's more like very obvious because exactly. they tell the whole world mm. what's happening. Mm. But there's a lot of racism, and, and then there's, there's high a, tax. Yes. They don't care if you're homeless or not, exactly. and if they find you there illegal, they'll immediately throw you out. They don't care. Yes. 
Like people really, really yeah, need people, to take care before people, they leave. Yes, people need to think. So it's not just about getting up and running. Before you get up and start running like someone mm. is chasing you, try to be able to, exactly. you know, to examine the situation. Okay, I'm, and we're not saying nobody should leave. Like, by but at means, least build your foundations here. Yeah. Like, to be completely honest, even I'm still thinking of leaving because really there's a huge pressure. Yeah. But right now, thankfully, thankfully, mm -hmm. I really found a good job and he's, it's well paying. The management is amazing. You have no idea. So because I found this, leaving is now become a second priority yes. for me. I don't care about that. Yes. Like right now, even to be honest, I'm looking to open my own thing in Lebanon yeah. because thank God, thank God. Yes. We always thank God mm -hmm. for everything. I found something to keep me. Yeah. So it's really an issue of you can find it. You just really, really have to. Exactly. Exactly. Well, guys, I hope you love that video. <laughs> yeah. And she has it. even blown you the kiss already. So don't forget <laughs> to show us some love, you know, like like, subscribe, like, subscribe comment. comment. Tell us Watch the video five, six times to give her the view. <laughs> exactly. And tell us how, like, how you feel about everything we just shared with you. And next time you want to come to um, Lebanon, you should absolutely like ask me for her, <laughs> her contact. She, yeah, she, she I'll be more than this, happy. Um, amazing um, eye capture thingy. I'll post it on my YouTube as well, so you guys can see it. It's Aww. a very romantic um, thing. Gesture yeah, to do with someone gesture you love. to do with somebody you love, and she's also planning to do her own private business a food business and she's a great cook so so maybe next time you come in you have somewhere to eat not for free though you're gonna pay <laughs> if you come from this side i'll leave you for free no no no, no, no free we are all for support <laughs> no free food you come you support her and that's it i really um, love you I thank swear. you so thank you so much it was nice uh, all right bye guys bye guys <laughs>